Scorching heat waves, record wildfires, rising seas. These consequences of climate change are hitting us already and will do so much harder in the future. To avoid the worst climate impacts, global greenhouse gas emissions need to be slashed in half by 2030 and reach net zero around mid-century. The term net zero gets thrown around a lot these days, but what is it and how can we get there? Reaching net zero emissions requires us to do two things. First, we must reduce our emissions to as close to zero as possible, as quickly as possible. Phasing out coal, investing in clean energy, shifting to electric vehicles, protecting forests, and reducing food loss and waste are just a few ways to shrink our carbon footprint. Second, we need to pull just as much carbon out of the atmosphere as we pump into it. This can be done by planting trees, which absorb carbon into their trunks, limbs, and roots, as well as by deploying emerging technologies, such as direct air capture, which takes carbon out of the air and stores it in geological formations underground. A number of countries have already committed to reach net zero emissions by 2050, and some nations are even more ambitious. For example, Norway plans to reach net zero by 2030, and Finland by 2035. In 2020, all countries should put forward stronger national climate commitments that put us on a path to collectively reach net zero emissions by 2050. And in this process, they will ensure a bright future for our children and all life on Earth.